Hey, love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed and doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my grown extended beautiful family, just thank you so much. You know, um, being able to reflect on the things that we truly need to let go of or things we need to level up on is truly a blessing. So pay attention to the signs that are coming your way. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please like and subscribe. Even hit that notification bell so you know when I'm about to upload my next video. Also, if you are comfortable enough, please drop me a line or two. I'd love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me, even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video, or you're just up telling me about your impact, the gift, and how it impacts your life, and heading you towards a positive direction. If you feel like the video gives you good information or good vibes, you would love to share with a loved one, family, or friend, or a fellow empath that are going through some trying times and need uh, spiritual guidance, or they need confirmation or validation towards their life path or even soul purpose, please go ahead and share, and while you're at it, give me a thumbs up like and also share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit and thank you once again for the love and support it's greatly appreciated and i hope that you're able to resonate with the content of my video and today my music in the background i like this i've never used this type of meditations before it's called 352 hertz three hours of crystal singing bowl healing sound bath 4k no talking song bowls no sound bath I mean sound bath and it's giving me like very I don't know if you can really see it but I got like a lot of chills <laughs> listening to this I'm like oh what is it doing to me so it's just really crazy right now that um you you know it is uh the video I'm actually doing right now sorry y'all um it's called uh Twin Flame 101, hey Ogas, the universe makes you disconnect to work on you. And a lot of us, since, you know, all these major shifts has been occurring, you know, back to back, you know, if it's, it's like the, you know, what was it, uh, Libra? No, it was Moon of Sagittarius, I think, and I need to look on, look at it again, you know, a few weeks ago, what was it, like a week or two ago, that it was a big imp. Uh, with Gemini and then before that was Taurus and then going through these strawberry moons and crescent moons and all this stuff all these shifts had to go occur but it's just like more and more you know we have that bad habit of being like empaths and we're trying so many you know to help people be happy you know help them understand why they're going through what they got to go through to know that you know even though when we feel like we're not alone I mean when we feel like we're alone we're not actually alone you know all these different things that are occurring in our life but it's just the fact is you have to be able to take time for that self-care there's a lot of times where you know you would see signs of me being you know running all off on fumes because i'm so busy trying to put out videos and stuff like that and it was like things that were occurring around me that I truly needed to focus on. And I was putting my focus on just one thing. You know, main things. Like I did other things, but there was other things that I was neglecting at the time that I wasn't aware of. So that was stuff that I had to be able to cut off different things. Like I, it drove me crazy when it was like universe is like, okay, you know you need to take a break <laughs> you know you we love the fact that you're you're pushing out there the you know the the ugh, the messages that we send towards you there's a lot of times that you need to be able to take that time out for you to recharge you know do self-care you know there's a lot of times i you know i hate it i was like well they need a video for today you know there's some of y'all that go watch my other videos just you know wait patiently i greatly appreciate that you know but it's just like there's times i feel something that i need to be able to work on myself and i'm not giving myself that that chance to be able to recharge because there's sometimes you know before where i was doing like seven eight videos a day and then i was doing two lives on top of you know empath counseling as well where i was doing one-on-one -on -one with other people you know trying to get them to understand because there's a lot of people that are on my channel that rather talk to me you know one-on-one -on -one than other than putting their business out which i understand because a lot of people are not comfortable with that i even got a group chat that i, I mean not a group chat but a group page on facebook that i you know i keep forgetting to tell y'all about you know some of y'all are new you know and it's just like i tell them 
you know, you can go ahead and put out news, you know, news links or, you know, videos that'll help cheer up people or there's things that, you know, we struggle with because we go through so much, you know, and I said I wanted to go ahead and do a, a Hayoka group page, you know, where I'm just hoping a lot of my, my love bugs are, you know, on there, but I wish they'll be, you know, more participating, you know, even if it's like, you know, you want to put out a poem that you wrote or, you know, there are certain videos that help you meditate to clear your mind because we, we got so many thoughts running around in our mind. We need something to make, it, make, us, make us align ourselves. You know, anything like that is going to be forthcoming on making you feel better, bringing up good vibes, even if it's funny memes. I put a lot of funny memes on there as well, you know, just to give somebody that laugh. They may, may need to laugh that day because things were just coming at them, coming at them, and they just need to be able to just release. You know, I said, just, you can do all that stuff, you know. Don't be so, you know, closed off because I'm really trying to do this, you know, to help not just me, but other people come to the flat platform, you know, to be able to express yourself the way you should. I tell people all the time, whatever you, you put on this page stays on this page. It's private, you know, no judgment, no, you know, no slurs that can make other people feel, you know, uncomfortable or whatever, you know, just be able to share what you, you know, what interested you that you might feel like other people might be interested in, you know, so it's called the, the Hayoka spiritual journey. You know, I tell people you can go ahead and um, if you can find it out there, just go ahead and you know, ask for a request and I'll go ahead and do that. But I'm trying to be more, you know, active with a lot of stuff because it gets frustrating. You know, if I'm the only one putting stuff out there, because there are some of my love bugs that they do participate in putting stuff out. So I do appreciate the ones who do it. But I just wish that it was other people doing it because I don't want to shut it down. You know, if there's not any people, you know, liking anything, because I'll see like it'll be seven people that saw the you know, the post, but there was only two or three people that, you know, liked it, you know, certain things, you know, I just want other people to be able to be there because I want to open up this platform for other Hayokas to be able to experience different things. But, um, back to what I was talking about. Um, there's a lot of things that, you know, universe will shut down stuff. Like if you could be trying to watch TV or whatever, but they need you to meditate. And all of a sudden, you know, everything will not be working at that time for you to be having no other choice but to do what they tell you to do. Because you'll be like, you, certain things will come up that you'll see you're like, oh, okay, that's what you're trying to tell me. You know, and all different things that come up. I mean, it happens to me all the time. I try to blow it off. And then you're like, you know, you've seen that. <laughs> you know, you did that, you know, so you need to be focused on certain, you know, certain things in your life. And it's just like, I get frustrated because I want to be able to do that. But it's just like my energy gets so worked out when I'm doing videos. I'm trying to do everything else. But it, you know, I have to be able to micromanage all these different things that I want to be able to do in life. They'll fulfill my life and being happy. You know, even though there's things around me that's going on that I can't change, but I can change how I look at my situation and so that's a lot of things that they allow you to do that you have to take time out for yourself for you to be able to disconnect and work on yourself on every layer on every you know level you know whatever it is they want you to be able to do that because there's some some of us are stuck in certain situations that we want to haul ass from <laughs> you know you're like well I'm ready to go this and this and this and that but like I told y'all before there's a lot of times we're in situations not for us to change the situation but allow that situation to change us in a positive way you know you have to stop looking at it it's like you're being tortured that's only a mental situation because you can't allow nothing to you know stress you out like that even regardless if it's a narcissistic person that you're dealing with or you know you, you can't allow those people to just mess with you like that because that's where they get their their you know their their excitement off of knowing that they can get under your skin knowing they can affect you in that negative way you can't allow those situations to make you lose focus on what you're trying to aim towards because that's what darkness wants you know he they know you have all these big beautiful things that's coming into your life but you know I used to worry about stuff like that it's just like you know I used to be open with certain people about certain things that was popping off and you know they act like they were my friend at first but then when they start seeing things were actually really true about what I was saying you know all of a sudden they just start putting up all type of blocks on me even though I was going out my way to help them so it kind of made me not want to deal with people on that personal level like that but it wasn't about that it's just that God allowed me to see you know, you can't be forthcoming on telling every single thing that you go through, even though you might want to vent about that. But there are certain people that, you know, 
it's just like there, there's just certain things you shouldn't talk about. You should be able to leave that with you and God or you and universe that you want to talk about. You can't be able to tell a lot of people that because not it's not the fact that they're jealous of you or whatever. It could be their, you know, their energy. It wants to block you from that. It's like, Dad, why is my life exciting like that? I said, shoot, I didn't, I didn't pick this. You know, these are things that just happened to me. So it was just like going through all these trials and tribulations on things I experienced. That's why I tell people, you know, don't tell me all your stuff. And it's not the fact that I'm going to stop you or anything like that because I want everybody to be able to go. But it's just like certain energies. The, or it's, it's just the fact is when I hear um universe telling me don't, don't engage in what they're about to say because they're going to mess their own self up just by projecting that out towards anybody because they have to learn not to be able to tell everybody everything that you is like when you are working on another project with yourself or there are certain things that you want to do there's sometimes you ain't supposed to tell people that you're supposed to tell them after the fact <laughs> you know because they will you know bombard you with different things because a lot of people are intimidated by the things you got going on in your life you could be one of these you know, really gifted people, and they might feel intimidated by you, oh, they think they better than me, or whatever, oh, let me show them, because I mean, I have to deal with it <laughs> around here, you know, just have to be very, 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 very selective about what I put out there, you know, there are certain people that'll come to my YouTube channel just to see if I'm going to put business out there, oh, I learned the hard way dealing with certain people, no, the hell I will not, you know, it's just certain things. I won't even allow universe to sit up here and let me know. Let me know when it's about to happen. That That's what I like. Because the fact is, I don't like it when people try to read me and they're trying to see what, what goes on, you know. And it is the way it is. You know, I still pray for folks like that because they really just don't know. They step in a whole world of energy they don't even want to mess with. Because it's like a lot of us are these certain empaths. It's just like if people trying to block you from their blessings, they don't realize that they're jeopardizing their own when it comes to that. You know, people do that, you know, purposely. You know, there are certain people don't mean to do it, but it's just their energy might feel, you know, their energy can mess you up on the plans you got coming forth. But some people just see that their life is not as, you know, well equipped like yours is. So they will put stuff on there. But it's just like with me, I tell people, you better be very choicy about what you pray against me on. And it's not like I'm trying to be boasting myself up. But it's just fact is I don't seen too many people that try to pray against me. And next thing you know, it come back to me. There's something messed up in their life and they wonder why. <laughs> you know, and I'm just like, oh, now I see what you were focused on. You were focused on some, you know, when people can't fix their life and you need to be healing different ways, people don't understand that they'll try to stop you on yours. It's like if you would have stayed focused on the mess you got going on and you could have cleared up for yourself, you ain't got time to be worried about what I got going on over here and trying to stop that because I feel like those are weak minded individuals and people are focusing in on the wrong things when they need to be striking up and dealing with their life. <laughs> you know, so you got to be able to be very selective about what you allow you know especially when you're interacting with certain empaths or just certain people because certain people they'll be a wolf in sheep's clothing so be careful with that you know so they'll be trying to poke and probe you know if they can't get it from certain social medias they'll try on certain things and I'm like here I just tell you what I'm very selective about what I tell people nowadays and it's just like you know I don't stay focused on just one thing it's just me trying to you know evolve that's what I stay focused on. I don't be staying focused on my blessing because I already know if it's meant for me, it's going to be for me. So I'm just going to work on myself and heal myself where I need to. So, you know, it, it's just like when they're allowing you and they're telling you, you need to focus on yourself, heal yourself in every way you need to. You can still help people, but there's a lot of times you need to take care. Take that time out for you. You know, see the things that you need to, uh, you know, need to heal on or there's things that you need to let go of. Work on that as well. So I hope you were able to resonate with the content of my video. Much love to you. I'm going to give um, post notification shout out to Katie. Katie uh, Straight. Much love to you as well. I hope everything is all good. And let me see who else am I going to give a shout out to. There's somebody else that's on my mind. And I can't even think of the name. There's so many different folks. Uh that's popping up in my head right now and I'm just trying to purge out the name but anyways um 
much love to you as well linda i don't know i haven't heard from linda in a while but i feel like she about to come forth and yes jabrian much love to you i'm glad my videos has been relating towards everything that you're going through and can make sense of understanding as well as peace and love you know that's coming forth as well that we need confirmation on so send out as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can know that you are truly blessed highly favored and forever loved and knowing there's always something out there you know gonna help build you up and you know there's people out there just praying for your better days and i hope and pray that everything that's coming towards your life that you're working hard for blossoms into it very soon and um please send out positivity towards others you never know your kind words can really help somebody a long way and i'll see you on my next video much love peace